it's been fantastic for us like the, this year or sorry last year 2013 after we won just for our um, general presence around and also I think it just spread the Hermitude name to a few far reaching corners that it had never kind of been to and it's it's helped us you know secure a lot more fantastic gigs and better slots at festivals and kind of you know crawl up the crawl up the ladder a bit so it's um to where we're to where we're at now which is the you know the beginning of 2014 we just had a fantastic run of shows over new years and um just playing to a lot bigger crowds and and like i said better time slots so yeah it's been fantastic in that respect we took the um prize money and um started off to uh southeast asia where we um spent a bit of time relaxing which is pretty dope. Uh, we also spent a good amount of time uh, trawling through a lot of um, sort of dusty crates of records, looking for new uh, material to um, sample up and flip. And um, yeah, it was a it was a really good experience. You know, just kind of being able to sort of use you know the the prize to kind of refresh ourselves and have a little holiday, but also get really inspired. So. Um, yeah, that's, that's what we started doing straight after the award. And then we came back and we did a lot of shows and um, got back in the studio and started um, putting some, some new ideas down for the next record. I think it was really helpful in terms of um, just adding a few key new pieces of equipment to the studio. Um, we sort of, um, you know, added a couple of new um, synthesizers to our setup and just a few bits and pieces like I always think that um, cables and leads are actually the silent killer of studios and um, you know those things are expensive you know it, it's really great for that sort of stuff we basically were able to funnel it back into the next record um, to help us sort of just be able to you know not work a day job and just sit in the studio and create mm. and all that sort of stuff so anything from paying studio rent to new gear and you know inspirational holidays is mm. it's a, it's, it was a really great kind of prize to win and what struck me about that that the particular award is that uh, they focus on a whole album as a whole rather than tracks you know the, the way music's bought today and listen to it so it's very throwaway and there's just so much um, onslaught of new music coming out so they really focused in on on the record that we wrote as a whole and that's something that I think when we write together we kind of take a lot of pride in is, is you know building a, a thing that's from start to finish as a whole kind of journey to listen to and um, I think they really kind of take note of those details so it's a nice nice change yeah some of the records that are on the long list um, this year are great um, you know there's like there's like Gosling on there and um, you know Jim Blah with his Phoenix record which is a great record and um, horror show horror shows on there and some shameless elephant tracks plugging <laughs> yeah dielectrics with his cold light of day record that's a great record Boy and Bear, Harlequin Dreams, awesome. Yeah, this is, I mean, there's, at the moment, there just seems to be a really amazing amount of awesome Australian music coming out. Um, mm. You know, it, it just seems to be a really great time for Australian music. You know, we like to put on a, on a fun show um, and get the, get the audience really involved. Um, and we might be dropping a couple of new tracks, maybe. Let's see mm. how we go. But uh, yeah, it's going to be great. Uh, Dielectrics is playing, and yeah, Jen, Jen Cloer. Jen Cloer. Yeah. And um, where is it? The Sydney Meyer Music Bowl. Yeah. In Melbourne. In Melbourne, not and to be confused. Yeah. So you know, it's it's going to be a really fun fun day. Um, and we're all kind of keen to hear who the shortlisters come down to. So yeah, it's yeah. going to be an exciting night. That's for sure. Yeah. Last year when we were at this point, actually, the the shortlisted gig was at um, Federation Square, and it was. It was a crazy night for us because we were actually on tour at the time and we were playing, doing the villain tour. So we had a gig at the corner as well that night that we played before at the shortlisted gig. And um, yeah, it was great because um, there was a few homies with us who, who we knew from Sydney who got um, shortlisted as well. Daily Meds, Daily Meds were down there playing with us. And it was just a great vibe. It was a really cool gig, you know, and everyone turned out. And So yeah, we're expecting that plus, you know, a little bit more, I guess, for the next one. Hey!